What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully amazing. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your power, your wisdom, and your work in our lives. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, yeah, I mean, you guys know the name of the game. We're going to get into the cards, see what we got going on, see anything that we don't see coming, any updates on our current situations. Um, I started to wait, like, until tomorrow, you know, to kind of, like, let the energy shift. But you never know, uh, you know, because I know my last two readings, they were kind of, like, similar. There were a few differences, but, uh, you know, I want to, you know, give it some time and let the energy shift, let it change up a little bit. But, you know. Today's a new day. We don't know. We don't know. We, we're we going to find out, though. So, yeah, let's get into it. Hmm. Lustful. <laughs> Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Three, three. Baby. Nine of Swords. Three of Cups. We got all the threes out here. Divine Partner. Death. The World. Up in the Clouds. And the King of Swords. We got all the cards in the upright. I did. Now, that's just crazy. I did shuffle these. Okay, some of them are in reverse, but uh, most of them are in the upright. We go roll with it. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, First, we have lustful. You know, this card just talks about being nasty, you know, <laughs> being lustful, you know, being in a uh, sexual energy. Um, lustful is clarified by the star in reverse. Ten of Cups. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Hermit in reverse. So, yeah, there's somebody in lustful energy. Um, what's new? <laughs> yeah, somebody's in lustful energy right now, and uh, this person did not get wish fulfillment. They're feeling, like, a little bit hopeless. There was something that they wanted, and they didn't get, and they, they feel kind of like, you know, like they've lost hope. You know, the star talks about, you know, being hopeful, faithful, um, getting your most desired outcome. They can talk about success as well. So, you know, something was unsuccessful. Um, maybe this person's attempt at a ten of cups situation. Um, yeah, that's what it feels like. You know, somebody was in lustful energy, and yeah, they uh missed out. They didn't get the ten of cups. You know, they I feel that this person wanted this ten of cups. Uh, ten of cups just talks about you know the ultimate emotional fulfillment. Um, especially pertaining to family. Um, but yeah, somebody didn't get that. Uh, probably because this is why they didn't get it. This is exactly why this person did not get wish fulfillment. We have the Hermit in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, you know, with the Hermit in reverse, this person refused to go within. They haven't done the healing. They haven't done the work. You know, they haven't done the shadow work. They haven't, you know, went inward for introspection, reflected on, you know, past actions. They're just, they haven't healed. And with the Ace of Swords in reverse, you know, this person is still lying, you know, uh, maybe to themselves. You know, I get the energy of somebody that's in denial about something. Like maybe their part in the uh, or their wrongdoings in the situation. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but somebody would just refuse to, you know, this person needs to do some healing. 
they need to do some shadow work they need to go inward and they they just they won't do it um and yeah they're not being truthful you know i feel like with themselves like they're lying to themselves this person's in denial about something uh the three of wands you know this talks about waiting for your ships to sail in um i mean it pretty much it represents like when you you know you put in a little a certain amount of work and you're waiting for results you're waiting for you know the results to come in you're waiting on your ship you got your bags packed you're waiting on the boat um three of wands is clarified by ace of cups impersonate in reverse queen of pentacles and the emperor what is he in the upright maybe let me find out um <laughs> somebody's waiting on a passion new beginning in love if this is this is the emperor and you know i know a lot of you resonate with uh mass or uh divine feminine energy yeah this guy's in the upright uh seeing you as the queen of pentacles because you've probably been in your bag you know uh while all of this karmic mess has been going on <laughs> You know, whether you've been affected by the energy projection that they've been doing or not, you know, you've been in your bag. You've been focused on self, you know, moving forward. Like, you know, maybe at one point in time, you're trying to move forward with this person. And, you know, here lately, you've just been focused on moving forward. Like, okay, whether you, whether you in the bus or not, whether you on the bus or not, we rolling. Like, you let me know. Uh, but this person is... Uh, um, I feel like I get the energy like, you know, this person, this person is going to wait. He's in the upright, though. Granted, most of these cards are in the upright. I shuffled, but. Uh, yeah, it just feels like, you know, this person is like, <laughs> you know, they say like time heals all wounds. I get that energy like this person just go wait it out like, OK, well, yeah, she get over it. I'm just going to wait until she cool down. Like. <laughs> um, He wants to work with you. You know, somebody wants to collaborate with you. You know, especially if, like this is a divine. You, if it was a divine union, you know, y'all have like a purpose that you guys serve together, or like at Twin Flame, you guys have a purpose that you guys serve together. Unless this person just completely screwed up and they lost their divinity, in which case you, you know, you have another soulmate coming. Um, he's in the upright, but like I say, most of these cards are in the upright. It's like a sprinkle of a. Uh, cards in reverse but uh yeah um three of pentacles yeah that talks about you know collaboration working together a team effort is clarified by two of cups we want to work with you we want a love partnership with you I'm trying to be your boo again um seven of swords innocence in reverse this is just i'm so tired of this Ain't y'all tired? I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, God. This person want to work with you. They want to come towards you. They want this two of cups situation. But this person is not innocent. And they're still, you know, this particular, you know, yesterday we had the Ace of Swords in, in the upright. So I feel like whoever that message was for, you know, that particular masculine, he didn't, the emperor didn't even come out, I don't think. Or if he did, it was in reverse. You know, so either we dealing with somebody who has a serious personality disorder um, or, you know, this is a different energy. This is a different situation. Um, this person's struggling, though. That's what I'm saying. They, they want to work. They want this passion, new beginning in love. And you know what I think it is? You know, we've had it come out in the reads. You know, an illusion has been broken. People have been exposed for who they are, you know, trying to manipulate energy, quote unquote, steal soulmates or divine partners or whatever. Um which is ridiculous when you think about it, because half of y'all, y'all didn't want this man anyway, you know? So this karmic thing, she stole your man, she ain't didn't up but take out the trash for you. Like, thanks, sis. But uh, anyway, um, three of pentacles, two of cups, seven of swords. Yeah, this person's, they, they man, they on the sneaky and deceptive tip. You know, seven of swords talks about being sneaky, deceptive, you know, doing stuff in stealth mode, you know? 
not trying to get caught doing something, you know, or trying to steal something. But they want three of pentacles is in the upright, two of cups is in the upright. They want this love partnership. They want this three of pentacles. And like I said, I feel like, you know, a, an illusion for a lot of the collective, an illusion has been shattered. And, um, you know, this person realizes that, like, dang, I just traded a dime for a penny. And now he won't come back. But, you know, I don't, you know, and like I said, we all have our own situations to each his own. You know, some of these, some of these, some of these masculines are going to come back and they're going to actually get it together because they realize what's at stake. You know, they went through a spiritual awakening, dark night of the soul, all of that, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, some of them, like, they still, like, Turn it in reverse. You refusing to do the work. Like, you know, you ain't even healed from stuff. You just put on another mask. You know, your other mask is broken, shattered. And now you just went, you know, bought a, a new mask. And you coming back on the same tip. Like, this person's not innocent. Innocence in reverse. And nine of pentacles in reverse. You know, this person's struggling. They need some help. This is the opposite of independent. They're stressing. I feel like until this person gets you back, whoever this this particular you know story I'm telling now, until this person gets you back, they're gonna be in this, and I think they know that, which is why there's like so much pressure to like at least you know hurry up and come in and lock you down real quick. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, like, like they don't understand. Like you know, as much as you went through to heal and get through everything, because you were here too. At the at the you know. He caused you being here or she caused you being here. You know what I'm saying? But like you went through, you rolled with the punches, you did the work and you had to do that all by yourself because this person was off with a karmic. You know what I'm saying? Now they want to come back, you know, and ultimately, you know, and put burdens onto you. You know, you didn't already paid your karma. Like you didn't, you didn't went through it. You don't learn your karmic lesson. You didn't close the cycle. Now this person coming in without doing the work, you know what I'm saying? And want you to help, like, you know, lighten their load. Like, it's just, ugh, disgusting. But Nine of Swords, you know, it talks about anxiety, headaches, depression, uh, uh, just being stressed out, you know? Um, Nine of Swords is clarified by the High Priestess in Reverse. Well, I bet she is stressed. This person. <laughs> ah! Baby. Four of Swords in Reverse. That person's sick. Like, physically sick. Full of regret. Five of Cups. They didn't use their intuition. Intuitive Kev in reverse. This person didn't use their intuition. And I know, yeah, because this has been coming out. So, I mean, we got some updates, you know, but this has been coming out. I've been telling y'all, this high priestess in reverse, there was somebody who did work on you and pro possibly did work on this masculine too. Um, But it's a high priestess in reverse. And this person is having, like, they're in severe, they're having depression, anxiety, um, sleepless nights. This person is extremely tired. They feel lethargic. They're having headaches all the time. And this person is full of regret because I really feel, I don't know about y'all, but this resonates for me. My personal situation, somebody came in and tried to pull a fast one on me. And y'all know, because I, I reached out, I had took a three-day break and I reached out to the collective like, hey, this is what I'm going through. You know, I, I'm still relatively new. I need a little bit of guidance. Um... But yeah, you see, I recovered in three days. You know, I, pray, I spent two days praying. Like I said, that first night, I couldn't sleep at all. I stayed up for about a day and a half praying and doing a, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, you know, if you're, if this is the same thing with you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this got returned to sender or whatever the case, this person's going through it. That's the, this is exactly what this is. These people are receiving they can dish it out, but they can't take it. This is no nothing more than what they tried to send to the collective, what they tried to send to you. So now this, this high priestess energy, you know, this person is extremely tired. Four of swords in reverse, they are extreme. This person's sick, like physically, spiritually, mentally sick. They don't, not, they don't feel good at all. And, you know, five of cups full of regret. Like, oh, my God, why did I do that? Like, why did I do that? Especially to Kev, like, you know. He's a sweetheart, you know, like seriously, wouldn't hurt, no, wouldn't cause nobody, you know, any type of like discomfort. Like I don't get, yeah, and this was in reverse. These people didn't use their intuition. You know, you're supposed to be a high priestess. I guess you are distorted. You're in, in reverse, but like, like I say, what you do unto others will be done unto you. 
and the, the collective didn't send this to you because we don't do spell work. We don't practice, you know, black magic. We practice white magic. We practice faith and prayer. And we trust God, you know? This person reaping what they've sown. I'm not even going to get that too much energy. Reaping what they've sown. Hopefully, you know. And like I said, I don't wish bad on nobody. Hopefully, you, uh, if you're watching, hopefully you have a speedy recovery. And maybe you think before you try to, you know, do something like that to somebody else. God bless. Uh, three of Cups. I know this talks about socializing. It can talk about uh, celebrations. It can talk about spending time with friends, family. It just talks about being around people. Or it can talk about a third party situation. It's in the upright. And it's clarified by Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person's defeated. Defeated. Because they were impulsive. This high priestess in reverse, he or she did something really, really quick without thinking about it. Didn't weigh the pros and cons. Didn't think about the consequences. Didn't think about who you was dealing with. <laughs> this person was not illuminated. They didn't know. They didn't know who you was, collective. They didn't know about your faith. They didn't know about the things that you've already been through in your life and overcome and survive. You know what I'm saying? Like... People have no idea. Like, you know, I haven't shared this with y'all in 2020, uh, April of 2020, I was in a two year relationship. I was with somebody and he was murdered. Uh, April 17th, 2020, uh, four gunmen approached our car on the driver's side and uh, they opened fire. It was gang related, uh, mistaken identity. They thought that we were some other people and uh, they shot the car up. 52 rounds hit this car. And um, my partner, you know, six of them hit him and he died. And uh, his brother was in the back seat on the, the driver's side. He got shot four times. He survived. I was in the passenger seat. And I didn't, um, you know, by the grace of God, I, um, I mean, I, I, I ran away. You know, when the car finally stopped and crashed, uh, I was able to, to limp out of the car and like, you know, limp away. But um yeah, you know, I'm the, people just don't, people have no idea what you've been through. So they come at you with like, you know, stuff that they think is going to defeat you. And for no reason, though, for no reason. Like these people, y'all had people attacking y'all that you don't even know. Like never, you know what I'm saying? This person don't know you from a can of paint. Never had a conversation with you. But they're trying to take you out, trying to, you know, create obstacles, put blockages in your life. And they don't know what you've been through, what you've already endured. Now you going through karma because you're a fucked up person. The most high in reverse. They was coming from a dark place. This could have been like, and it just that just popped in my mind. This could have been like some type of sacrifice, sacrificial ritual type stuff. Um, I know my situation. I don't, I'm not going to go into detail. Because like I said, I'm, I'm aware of a lot. You know, uh, you know, um, yeah, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not speaking on it. I'm not retaliating. You know, worst thing I could do is, you know, Google some, some spell work like these people do and, you know, try to, you know, do something back. I don't need that karma. God go handle you. Just ridiculous though. Like seriously. Like, I don't understand how a person could try. And I mean, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I'm not God. So I'm far from perfect. I get mad. I get bitter. I, I have resentment, you know. Um, but I am a good person. And I do right by everyone I encounter. That I can guarantee. So anybody who got a problem with me, you know, you're the problem. Quite frankly. And for the most part, anybody who got a problem with the collective, they're the problem. It's not you. This person's sick. Literally now. Trying to play God. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Uh, then we have divine partner. Divine partner is clarified by twin flame in reverse. We have them back to back. Two of wands. Somebody chose up and they feel bad about it. <laughs> yeah, they got taken from. They got took in this situation. Yeah. 
Somebody was trying to avoid a tower. You know, trying to probably trying to avoid the truth from coming out. Probably trying to avoid, you know, the consequences and repercussions of their actions. And, you know, a tower is an act of God. You can't escape that, baby. You can delay it, but you can't escape that. And, you know, God forbid, because like I said, I don't wish bad on anybody, even the people who have wronged me. I pray for them. I really do. And, that you know, that that's that's progress for me, because I used to be the type of person, you know, up until 2017, I was in and out of jail. I've been arrested 11 times, you know, because I was the type of person that, you know, somebody wronged me and I, I'm going to get instant retribution. Like I'm coming for that ass. But, you know, I just, you know, I turned 30 and it's like, I'm, I don't want to do this no more. So, you know, I started taking the high road and it's, that's a, it's a hard road to let people just, you know, constantly get over on you. But, you know, I, I had to get to a point where I realized, you know, I'm hurting me more than I'm hurting these people. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm putting myself in bad situations, you know, let God handle them. But yeah, it's a permanent ending. And like I said, God forbid you know, somebody actually dies because depending on what these people sent towards the collective, what they tried to do to you, that got returned. You try to, you know, God forbid these people try to sacrifice somebody pure of heart, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a somebody who has like a, a genuine purpose or, you know, some just anybody really. I mean, like, like seriously. And they, they can't be mad at anybody but they, but themselves. Of course, they go blame the collective. Oh, it's their fault. It's their fault. No, it's your fault. Because I don't do magic. I pray to God. So whatever you're dealing with, is you, you did that. You conjured that. Like, you made, you made the food. So, yeah, you go eat it. <laughs> uh, death, and, death is clarified by uh, two of swords. Somebody's indecisive. Don't know which way to go. Oof. Ten of Swords. This is new. I added a few new ones. I swatched. Uh, I switched like five or six cards out last night. But yeah, Ten of Swords. You see this? This person beat up. Like done. Done, done. Down for the count. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. I'm laughing at the card. But uh, um, yeah, because they invested in the wrong thing. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They put a lot of hard work into betraying the collective. You know, I don't, God forbid these people tried to hurt you or, you know, steal your energy, you know, sacrifice you, whatever the case may be. These people are sick. Pray for them. You know, granted, you know, say you're not that evolved yet and you decide to go, you know, text somebody's ass, you know, beat somebody up. I, me personally, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't judge you. Only God can judge anyway. I wouldn't judge you. But uh, I don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I got a prayer for y'all too. And I'm, you know, I'm sure if any, if this resonates for you, this prayer is going to resonate for you too. Um, the wheel in reverse. Yeah, somebody is beat up. Ten of swords. Because you invested in the wrong thing. You put a lot of hard work into being um, just a corrupt person. Spiritually bankrupt. You know, evil. Demented. And for what? Only you did it to yourself. Or not you, you know, these people, they did it to themselves. Now they're going through bad karma. You know, the wheel has turned out of their favor. Everything they touch is going to turn to shit. And this is the end of a cycle. We got the world in the upright. It's over. It's done. Ain't no coming back from this. Who I, like I said, I've been saying that the last two reads. This high priestess in reverse. I don't know who I don't know who they messed with or who they was doing spell work on, but uh, y'all picked the wrong. You picked the right one, you know. And this I get the energy of somebody. You know, this person could have been doing this to people for a long time and really just you know never had any consequences, got away with it. But you know, they happen to run across. A chosen one, a star seed, you know, one of y'all. And uh yeah, this person, man, you got you found the right one. That just shit done finally caught up with you. I still pray for you. Uh the world is clarified by secrets in reverse. It's all out. All out the bag. 
Yeah, they denied a blessing. They are rejected a blessing. Rejected a blessing. Page of cups in reverse. Somebody might try to, you know, maybe you have an admirer, somebody wanting to express something to you, some type of sentiment. It's in, it's in reverse. And even if it was upright, look how toxic he is. Just immature. Yeah, somebody's out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Uh, man. I feel like these people are stressing. These people are like in high stress. Because I get a little twinge of anxiety just like pulling these cards. Um, and then we got up in the clouds. You know, somebody probably smoking. You know, could be weed, could be that hard, that hard shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, they're going through. These people, especially this high priestess in reverse, somebody really messed up. They really messed up. You know, and if this was you that this happened to, um, somebody underestimated you. You know, they judged the book by its cover. Thought because you, you know, you this empress energy, you always smiling, happy-go-lucky, you try to uplift people. They thought you was a punk or they thought you hadn't been through nothing. Oh, his life easy or her life easy. They ain't never had to do nothing. They ain't never been through nothing. Hmm. Wrong move. Wrong assumption. Yeah, but uh, up in the clouds is clarified by false person in reverse. Yeah, this person has been exposed. Truth is out. Somebody wants to revisit a uh, an investment with you. You know, there was something that yeah, this came out yesterday too. This was you know something that somebody uh walked somebody walked away from you. Or walked away from you know an investment and they want to revisit that investment but you know why yeah because the, the the tides have shifted you know hated to love it the underdogs on top and i'm gonna grind baby until my heart stop go ahead and envy me baby <laughs> yeah you on top now of course of course these people want to come back some of them go want to come back and apologize to you. Some of them is going to have the audacity to come back and demand to be in your life. But, you know, I don't even have to, you know, I ain't got to school y'all. Y'all know what's up. Yeah, this person's burdened, heavily burdened by all the choices that they made. You know, all those betrayals that they did to the collective, you know, or sent to the collective, all that energy projection. You know, like this is clearly somebody who's drawing unemployment. You know, all these spells you casting, you could have filled out 20 job applications. But no. <laughs> you read the wreck up all this karma. Like, make it make sense. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. These people are. These people are screwed. And everybody involved is going to get it. Like, every... <laughs> I don't know, and I feel that, that, that energy heavy. And I know that I'm not the only, uh, there's somebody, there's a few of y'all out there that have went, this is your situation. I'm telling you right now, expect to be vindicated. Expect to maybe even get like some type of subpoena, some type of summons at some point. Um, expect to hear about this. And like I said, God forbid, you might even hear about a passing. Damn. Damn. King of Swords, you know, King of Swords, he is logical, rational. Um, you know, he tells the truth for the most part, you know, in the upright. Uh, he's just, you know, he could be a jerk, not not emotional. He's not soft, you know, at all. Um, King of Swords is clarified by Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. The Magician. <laughs> Black Magic. People are dumb. This is mental retardation. Because if somebody is sick, and I feel this is like sick, sick, like hospice care, like deathbed or something. And like I say, God forbid, I don't wish that on nobody. But you know, the sad part is somebody wished that on the collective. And now they're, they're getting a taste of their own medicine. But if even after that, if somebody is still doing black magic, these people are sick. No, somebody's trying to reverse it. Magicians in the upright. They're trying to undo. They're trying to undo this magic. 
You know, it's perfectly fine when you sent it to somebody who was completely undeserving of it. Oh, but now that it's on your ass, oh, you want to try to undo some shit, huh? Goodness gracious. I'll just be glad when these people is out of collective energy and we, you know, we start telling different stories. <laughs> For real, because I'm just I'm just over it. I'm over it at this point. And I know y'all are too, especially if you've been through this. Like I said, y'all saw me. I was going through it last week. I really didn't. And a lot of y'all had told me, you know, it's like you have more than one spiritual awakening. And what you're going through is going to make you stronger. Honestly, I feel like everything I've been through in 2022 has made me stronger. All of this shit. It's like, you know, people and you, I know you can relate. People have constantly tried to defeat you place obstacles in your way, stop you, stop your growth, stop your finances. And everything that they did only made you stronger. It only renewed your faith. It only made you more loving, more compassionate. Like, like yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, 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 to even have a chance to defeat the collective, you should have just left us the hell alone. Because everything you done did is like, you know, this is... Oh, Hey, a job, uh, what is it, like uh, um, on the job training or something, you know what I'm saying, hands-on training, like, uh, it's just stupid though, because you know, a lot of this, you know, it was just, un it was unwarranted, you know, these people have no, and like I said, the person that, you know, attempted to come for me, I halfway trusted this person, I had this person, you know, in my energy several times before, and tried to pull a fast one on me. And, you know, seriously, I, I really hope this person's okay. I hope they recover. I do. Because I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But you are you are really a, a fucking idiot. If you... <laughs> me? You, you put that on me? Yeah, not somebody's imbalance. Communication is blocked. Somebody wants to communicate is blocked. This is a situation they had to let go of. Yeah, lies are revealed. Like I said, just every time we get secrets or the moon, they come out in reverse. These people think they was going, I mean, like, seriously, come on now. You know this is yours. This was yours. They try and take it from you. For no reason, for no reason, other than for you being that beautiful soul and that kind, that sweetheart, that, you know, compassionate person that you are like it's just so sad bottom of the deck we got queen of swords i updated this one too uh queen of swords yeah you know she's a logical thinker she's analytical she's straight to the point straight shooter she's honest um some people see her as like you know a bitch because she's she doesn't operate from her heart she doesn't operate from emotion um that, that could be where you at right now you know you know because people take advantage of that you released an energy in, uh, vampire there's somebody uh energy vampire that that was in your energy it's in reverse you released that person they were an emotional manipulator you and you cut them off you got love coming in i updated the lover's card too you got love coming in if you've been asking for it and you open to receive it it's coming to you Maybe. Yeah, and I updated the Empress and the Nine of Cups. This is you. I really feel like, and I've been saying this the last few reads, a lot of the readers have. You know, you have, you know, wish fulfillment coming. You know, there's a lot of things you've been wanting, and they're, they're you know, they're starting to come in. They're about to start coming in, you know, as long as you're open to receive them. You know what I'm saying? Keeping yourself in alignment, keeping your spirits up, uh, keeping that trust in God, you know, maintaining that faith, you know? And that's you, the Empress, man or man or woman, you know. Um, yeah, that's where you want to be. Nine of Cups, kick back, satisfied, happy, content. You know, you deserve that. You know why people keep coming? Like, why do people keep coming for the collective? Like, come. I guess it, it never ends, but you know, you got a passion, new beginning coming. Yeah. 
like I said, I started to wait a day because I kind of wanted this to shift. It did shift a little bit, you know. Uh, it really got into this high priestess, you know, where she hadn't, you know, her, what, what, she, what this person was going through hadn't come out. I was just looking through the other cards and I saw, you know, past two, two, three days I've, I've seen that person is, yeah. Like I said, and it's, as severe as it feels, this person tried to take somebody out. Like, I don't know if it's a sacrifice ritual. I know, mm, baby, I don't know. I'm going to do this mess deck. Well, this ain't the, well, yeah, this is the new mess deck, I guess. But yeah, man, I'm proud of you. Everybody watching, because you've all, all of us have overcome something that at, at a particular point in time, we didn't think we was going to overcome. <laughs> you know, you might have thought it was over for you. I know last week I was a uh, man, but then I forgot, you know, about the God that I serve. Like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it slipped my mind. It was under an illusion. You know, let's see what we got. Yeah, I just want like happier messages. I'm so tired of this karmic energy. All these people doing energy manipulation. You see me in person, won't say a word. You know what I'm saying? But you got, you know, putting all this energy into, make it make sense. Spiritual growth is underway. Keep going. Great things to come. We had that one yesterday, I think. All right. I knew my karmic was trying to hurt you and I did nothing to stop them. Well, now you're going through it. You're going through karma with your karma. You should have did something to stop it. Doing all that divination. Doing divination, you doing spell work on a tarot reader? Somebody like <laughs> a public servant? Are you kidding? Somebody's mother could have been involved. This person's mama could have been doing divination on you. Maybe that's the high priestess. Like I say, don't be surprised if you hear about somebody passing, because I really feel, you know, like that could be the case. Um, I'm battling real demons. Pray for me. I say it all the time. Pray for these people. Because ultimately, you know that's not them. It's the enemy working through them. These people got entity attachments and, you know, they're spiritually depleted. You know, so pray for them. My mama doesn't like you because you're different. So, I don't like your mama. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know I love your mama. Ascension. You know, you uh, this is probably what a lot of you are going through. You have the symptoms. You know, you feel it. Yeah, somebody try to put love blockages on you. I'm supposed to keep playing this. I'm trying to block your love life. I'm trying to play God. Like they can control any of that. He got the final say. Who y'all think y'all are? You got some haters, of course. They always hating on the Empress. Always lying on the Empress. False accusations. Slandering your name. Lying on you. Saying a bunch of stuff that ain't true. I've had several other sex partners I didn't tell you about. I bet you did. King of Wands in reverse. I bet you did. I hope you enjoyed. Divine Union. Baby. <laughs> yeah, this person was a habitual liar. And their karmic, their karmic that, that this person was dealing with was a copycat. Wanted to be you. Trash talker. Talking trash about you. Won't say it to your face. Like I said, you might not even know this person. That's the crazy part about it. These, there are people who are super focused on you, super focused on you. And you don't even know these people, you know, or maybe you do. And you just play dumb. I know I play dumb. Like, oh, I don't know. Who? Uh, delayed success. You know, these people probably try to delay your success. You know, try to, you know, put blockages in front of everything that you were trying to do. Like, for what? For what? Like, you know, you have your own destiny, right? I just don't get it. Why people are like. Oh, this prayer, I'm telling you, because it makes me mad. It make me mad. It make me really mad. You know, and like I say, I'm aware of, you know, some, uh, a lot of the stuff that happened and a lot of the people that caused it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not about to stoop down to their level. Girl, Lord knows I want to, though. But God, give me strength. God, give me strength. Oh. 
People are just disgusting. Busted and disgusted. Todd. Yo, you got a soulmate coming. I've been telling y'all, you got a soulmate coming. I desire you sexually. This person want to do it to you. <laughs> the magic spell work has backfired. Now they're scared. You will want to be, especially depending on what you sent out. I know it's too late to fix this. Oh, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I need to be more compassionate. I'm working on it. But like I said, you know, some of these wounds is fresh for some of us. You know, so, uh, the hell? I got a person I consider a friend that was like trying to like do, like, really? Like, what the, like, what type? This is like some, I'm telling you, we're in a different time. This is different times, different times. The world is such a different place right now. New love approaching. If it hasn't already. You know, a lot of us that well, a lot of y'all have um, you know, met somebody that you've been, you know, talking to or whatever, you know, what have you, you know, somebody's expressed interest and uh the energy's not distorted. So yeah, you know. I knew I know that you deserve better than me, but I refuse to release your energy. We had that one too. Well, I ain't gonna let you go. I know you deserve better, but no, you stuck with me. I'm gonna make you suffer. I go straight to hell. Like, seriously. Somebody's mouth wrote a check that that ass can't cash, baby. <laughs> you wrote a check that they, all them incantations. That mouth wrote a check that that ass can't cash. All over jealousy and envy. This Capricorn, I'm telling you. There's a Capricorn. For some of y'all that this resonates for, you know, there's a Capricorn that you consider a friend. This person's been jealous and envious of you since the from jump. This person's insecure. Sincere apology. I know a few of these miscreants owe you that. Certainly owe you that. They ain't got the backbone to face you, let alone, you know, so yeah. A face to face apology, I doubt it. I'm afraid of my karmic and what he or she will do to you or me. Maybe that's your karmic, not mine. Worry about yourself. Collective, fine. We good. <laughs> I'm having a really difficult time right now. That you are. I pray for you. Collective, pray for you. Yeah, you were an opportunist. And you're reaping what you've sown. I'm sorry you're going through that, though. People are a trip. Somebody's family could have been involved. You know, you got karmic family. You know, a lot of us got karmic family. Like I said, I just play stupid. Like, I don't know nothing. Huh? What? Who? Let's get some more up out of here. Okay, we're gonna take all of them and we go call it. All right, what we got? What we got? Okay, we already read that one. I am weak in mind and spirit. I allowed the opinions of others to cloud my judgment. They get that together. Get it together, man. Somebody can have a red car. Law enforcement. Like I said, this is a big deal. And I didn't feel this. The last two reads, I didn't really feel this, but that high priestess hadn't come out with all the details. Um, It's a big deal. And to any of you who went through that, you know, somebody tried to put something on you or take something from you, I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. Because I know what it's like. Um... God bless you. You know, we here. We here. Uh, solar plexus. This uh, is a chakra that governs your willpower. Somebody was trying to control you. Trying to control you. Get in your head. But you're a child of God. And you know your father got you. They didn't know your spiritual rank. Now they're in regret. They did not know your spiritual rank. 
Now they sick. Man, I'm gonna do uh, a couple of the angel oracle. I mean, I'm gonna send you guys some love and light. And then I probably am gonna take like a day or two and let this energy shift up. Cause it's just been the same negative, like, okay. Like we know what these people did. We know what they did to us. You know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, try to get to like the good stuff. Ain't y'all ready for the next phase? You excited? Man. Surrender. And spiritual growth. Baby. Okay. Let's see what we got. Surrender. Surrender. Surrender is a spiritual practice and it's not an easy one, but angels are working in your favor and their miracles will unfold with ease when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Take time to realize that in order to be helped, you must surrender your need for control over the situation that is on your mind. Hand over your concerns and the entire, I'm sorry, this is so small. Hand over your concerns and the entire situation to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you will allow angels to light a swoop in. Goodness, I need some glasses, y'all. Okay, when you do so, you will allow angels of light to swoop in and help everything transform. If you find yourself having difficulties letting go of pain, it's because there's a part of you that's not willing to receive the help of miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to God and let the miracles in. Give it to God and let the miracles in. You know, I know, trust me, I know it's hard to like not really, you know, just, you know, get immersed in what's happening around you, you know, or what's happening to you. But you got to trust him. You got to trust him. is so small all right spiritual growth this is a powerful time for you your growth and understanding are unfolding at an incredible rate and you feel more connected than ever to your soul gifts and purpose your angels are encouraging you to keep up the good work and continue expanding your knowledge experience and spiritual connection when this card arrives for you it's a confirmation that the experiences and insights you have had recently have been divinely led you may find yourself connecting to a particular energy at this time or even experiencing angels or guides visiting you. This card is letting you know that these experiences are real and are occurring because of your determination to open up spiritually. The path of light is unfolding for you and you are being encouraged to hold your head high and focus on spiritual growth. The rest will be taken care of for you. Confirmation, the rest will be taken care of for you. That's what I said. A lot of us, you know, have been in situations like I said, you know, I mean, you know, it was God, you know, it was your gods, you know, it was your angels and your ancestors that pulled you through, protected you and, you know, um, covered you while you, you know, recovered, you know, for those of you who actually like, you know, had to go through something. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, that just kind of, um, I'm going to close the reading here. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to take like a, maybe like two days, you know, off and kind of like let this all reshuffle. You know what I'm saying? Like let the car, let the energy shift. Because uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just ready to get some like, you know, some, some nicer stuff. You know, maybe this is like, you know, the purpose though. I'm posting like, you know, just tell it like it is. What's going on? You know, these updates, this awareness. Uh, definitely these, uh, you know, this encouragement and affirmation. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, oh, I got a prayer for y'all. I was just about to, yeah, yeah, let me do this prayer. But somebody need to hear this. I know, I yeah, I need it again. Okay, this is a prayer for healing by putting away anger, bitterness, and unforgiveness. Anger. 
I will cease from anger and put away wrath to stay connected to God. If I wait on him, I will inherit the earth. My whole body is sick and my health is broken because of my sins. But I confess my sins and am deeply sorry for what I have done. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Savior. I will speak soft words, kind words, and words of life to turn my wrath and anger away from me. I will not grieve anyone with my words. I will appease the strife against my health and my family by being slow to anger. I am better than the mighty because I control my anger. There is more gain in ruling my spirit than conquering a city. I use discretion to defer my anger. I earn esteem by overlooking wrongs. I will not sin against my own souls, my own soul by provoking the king to anger. I will silence anger with a secret gift. My heart knows its own bitterness. I release it to you. I will raise wise children who will cause me no grief or bitterness. I had great bitterness, but in love, you delivered me from the pit of corruption. For you have put all my sins behind your back. I was, I was in bitterness and in the heat of my, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I was in bitterness and in the heat of my spirit, but the hand of the Lord is strong upon me. My mouth is full of cursing and bitterness, but you have shown me a better way and I have been made right in your sight. I diligently look within myself so that I will not be defiled by any root of bitterness that may spring up. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It's a lot of them. They have, uh, cause that kind of went into, that was anger. They have bitterness, they have forgiveness. Um, yeah, obedience. It's a lot. This is a really good book. If you guys just want like prayers. Uh, he quotes like each line is like a quote from scripture and he puts them together to make these like really, uh, powerful prayers. Uh, John Eckert, really good book. Um, but yeah, I'm going to close the reading here. I hope this helps. I hope this gave somebody some insight. Um, I'm just tired of this energy. Like I said, I'm gonna take a couple of days. I'm tired of this energy. It leaves me like, you know, flustered a little bit because it's, you know, ugh. but um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for all your support, um, your encouraging words. Um, thank you guys for being here with me and allowing me to be here with you. Um, thank you guys for your energetic donations, those likes, subscribes, those comments. Um, thank everybody who's donated to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. It's a really big help. I love you guys so much. Um, and yeah, you know, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later.